Let me now show you a correct way of swapping the values x and y. Once again, we will initialize the values like before, but this time we will have three assignment statements and we're using a temporary variable, temp. Let's see how this code visualizes. So we click on next and we have set up our x and our y. x is the float, y is the int. Now we're ready to do line 6. temp is equal to x. We know that this is just going to put another label, namely temp, on the object that x currently labels. So when we visualize this, you observe here is your temp and it is referring to the same object that x is referring to. Now we do x is equal to y. This was the step that caused us to lose information last time because we move this label x to the object that y is currently labeling. But why did we lose information last time? Because no other variable was referring to this float object. Well, this time we have temp which is referring to that object. So we're not going to lose it. We're simply going to move this label from the float to the int. When we click on next, you see that's exactly what happens. So now this object has two labels on it. And now we do y is equal to temp. So we move the y label from the integer to temp, which is referring to the float object. So this moves y to the float. This achieves the swap. It uses a temporary variable to make sure we don't lose any information. Now, you may hear people say that it's possible to swap two variables in Python without using a temporary. And the code they have in mind is something like this. Suppose x and y have the same values as before. You can have this assignment statement. This looks a little bit complicated. On the right hand side, I have not a single expression, but what appears to be two expressions with a comma in between them. And on the left hand side, I have not a single variable, but two variables with a comma in between them. Later on, we will see exactly how to interpret this kind of an assignment statement. So far, I have told you that the general form is just a single expression on the right hand side and a single variable on the left hand side. But this is legal Python syntax. It's a more advanced type of assignment statement, which we will study later on. But just to show you how this works, when we initialize these variables x and y, when we do this statement, it's very hard to understand exactly what is happening underneath. All that the visualization shows us is that when we click next, the two arrows interchange. So someone looking at this says, I don't see a temporary. So it is possible to swap two variables without a temp. As I said, exactly what is going on underneath is hidden. And if you are deeply interested, you can search for this answer. Is this actually swapping without a temporary? But for us, this is too advanced. We will proceed.